So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, this is Dominique. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead. What are you waiting on? Go hit that subscribe button and give you girls some support. So today's video is going to be basically a nice little story time. No. I wouldn't say story time because this has never happened before. But this is going to be like a chit chat talk. So let's get into the freaking video. So, yeah. So, guys, basically, as you can see for the title of this story, the title of this story is the title of this video is basically talking about um, the truth about my baby delivery. So, as you guys know, I have yet to to be a mother and I am not a mother I'm not adding the fact that I am a mother I am a person who is childrenless childless childrenless all of that so anyways this is basically like I talk about my future and how I would love my future to be so basically like based on the other from the other day I have been watching a lot of delivery videos and I've watched like some delivery videos in different states in the US different countries and I've heard friends family relate to their delivery experience back here in Jamaica so I'm like wow these are two different like two different experience based on how you have a child in Jamaica to how you have a child overseas and for me like when I look on it I'm like yo I don't want any of my children born in a situation how you have kids in the general hospital in Jamaica let me come a bit closer yeah in Jamaica I'm like yo those ex that ex based on what people say the experience is so shabby so for me now I'm like yo I'm like I want to have my child and be able to have his or her dad in the room with me and having a child in Jamaica you are unable to have a supporting person in the room with you so I'm like yo why would I want to put myself through all of that when I know this baby was not planted inside of me by me alone I'm like yo what happened to the support system and from the other day I've been watching tons and tons and tons of baby delivery stuff like you know no your girl ain't planning to have a baby soon no way but I'm so obsessed with these stuff so I'm like, yo, so I was like, I was watching some of those videos that happened like in Canada and in, um, in US and I'm like, first of all, you have a baby there. You are placed in a room by yourself. So I'm giving you a difference. Let's say, let's, I'm giving you this, the, 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 the difference between having a child overseas and having a child. In Jamaica so you having a child overseas now you are able to you are placed in a room by yourself you are you are allowed to bring your partner and other family relatives to support you and then in Jamaica you are unable to have a support system to support you and you're basically well the lighting I'm trying to get yeah. so you're basically all in it by yourself and I'm like yo that is not a plan I have for my pregnancy delivery shit no so I'm like yo I don't know how it's gonna happen but I definitely if I'm gonna have a child not illegally either I'm not gonna do that as a plan to say okay I'm gonna force myself in a country or whatever but I'm like yo the main fuck of it why Jamaica can't be like that you know, I mean, why do we have to have children in a hope and space? Like, I'm giving birth and three other ladies beside me giving birth. And I'm like, 
yo that's creepy that's nasty and i'm like yo i don't want to be focused on some other girl screaming about having baby while i'm trying to figure out how am i gonna get this kid out of me i'm like yeah so when i watch these videos on youtube now i'm like this 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 is like legit what i want to happen for myself to be able to have give birth and like having a support system around me you know having a support system around me and in Jamaica if they visit with you they can't stay with you to give birth I'm like there's no support system there and why would I want to give birth and don't have support system and surrounded by nurses doctors that I have no idea who they are or whatever I'm like yo that's crazy that is so crazy and another thing giving birth in Jamaica if you're not rich and you know up there you have to have your child through natural birth like what why would I want to have my child like, like no why would I want to have me having natural birth as the only option to have a, my child you tell me why would I want to have my child with without even thinking about another option so for Jamaica for those who have already have kids in Jamaica you go to the general public hospital you know if you're having child natural birth is the only option you're unable to have an epidural and I'm like yo isn't that thing something that helps to get rid of certain amounts take away a certain amount of contraction that you feel I'm like what so when I look at it I'm like yo I don't know how I will get there now but you know say giving my birth to my picnic me have to have them option there I'm like I don't know why I'm even coming to you guys with like this but I'm like yo I think Jamaica needs to upgrade its status on how ladies are allowed to deliver their baby compared to how in first world country I mean yes we know first world country do have a lot of more you know high equipment and whatever and they have the space available to put people in their room by themselves but I'm like yo this is definitely a thing that Jamaica needs to work on and I'm so I'm like looking forward to myself I'm like I don't want have I have a child I don't want to be able to have a child and I'm just restricted to like certain things that I don't have a choice about I'm like no way no way no so I'm like yo these first world countries are booming with ladies giving birth to their children because I'm like we can't do those stuff in Jamaica and having birth in giving birth in Jamaica is so I don't know there's no option you have to deliver your baby through um, the one and only way natural birth and all those stuff and I'm like yo it's crazy it is really crazy so I see myself trying to do that so I'm like yo am I really gonna have a child here or Will I be able to afford a public hospital to give birth to my child? I don't know guys. I literally don't know. I don't know, but I would love to have the experience that most international hospitals give to their mothers. Like, that's a future plan for me. That's where I see myself going. I'm like, yeah. But guys, I mean... I'm looking to the future and I'm looking very close to me giving birth to that baby soon I don't know what's going on you all know I'm 22 coming October and no I'm gonna finish school yet so I'm gonna know my top ball baby <laughs> but anyways guys I just wanted to make that video for you guys just to like share what my thought is on how I want to be able to deliver my baby and I don't see Jamaica as a, the place to like you know I mean this is where I'm from but I really don't see the place as in it, it, it's 
rough based on experience i'm not saying everybody has had this type of experience but based on experience i know i don't see it going on i don't see it going on but anyways guys that was all i had to say to you for today's chit chat video so i'm gonna be doing a lot more of these stuff so guys don't forget to what like share comment and subscribe until 